Hillary Rodham Clinton announced on Sunday that she is indeed running for president. With no Democratic primary rivals so far, she stands alone as the champion of her party and possibly will be the first female president in American history. On the other side of this political party in the USA is Rand Paul, who announced on April 7th that he will also be running for president. Let's take a look at our two candidates' political positions. Hillary Rodham Clinton's political positions include believing the Earth's temperature is warming because of pollutants released into the atmosphere by man's use of fossil fuels. Her solution to this problem, not letting first graders dig for fossils on field trips. Clinton supports universal health care, lowering the cost of college tuition, raising taxes on wealthy Americans, and helping struggling middle-class homeowners avoid foreclosure. She also says that she can help us pay off the debts that we've acquired from buying so many DVDs. I have so many. She supports the right to bear arms, but does not support the right to arm bears, because that just makes bears doubly dangerous. She supports a woman's right to have an abortion, but she has said that she herself is publicly opposed to the procedure. Her solution to those unwanted pesky pregnancies? Anal. So let's take a look at our other candidates' positions. <laughs> Get it? Because you said anal right before, right? Yeah, I got it. Rand Paul's political positions include serving cucumber sandwiches to his American Girl dolls and sipping Earl Grey at tea parties. He's conservative, which means that he wears a lot of cardigans. He supports term limits, a balanced budget amendment, and the Read the Bills Act. He wants the government to reduce federal spending and taxation, but supports the bitches be shopping cause. Paul is 100% pro-life, and I mean, come on, aren't we all? I am 0% for death, and I personally would like to live as long as I possibly can. Me too. Paul has stated that same-sex marriage offends myself and a lot of people, and refers to it as a moral crisis, but believes the issue should be left to the states to decide. I get this, because I'm also going through a moral crisis. See, I'm cool with breakfast, but I definitely think the state should decide whether or not we should have it for dinner. Paul does not believe in legalizing the recreational use of drugs like marijuana and cocaine, but supports state laws to legalize the use of marijuana for medical purposes. <coughs> I'm sick. So, would you vote for either of these candidates? Which policies do you support? Do you have any policies of your own that you'd like our candidates to address? Let us know down in the comments below. I'm Matt Leaves. And I'm hungry. Let's go get food. Let's go get a bite. Okay.